Can we do a little bit of news? Love to. Now. Eric Clapton performed at a fundraiser for presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. at a private estate in Brentwood near Los Angeles. The event raised $2.2 million for Kennedy. That's $1 million for the campaign and $1.2 million for a PAC supporting the candidate. He said, I am deeply grateful to Eric Clapton for bringing his musical artistry and rebellious spirit to my gathering in Los Angeles last night. He said, I sometimes think that in our divided society, it is music rather than any kind of intellectual agreement that has the most potential to bring us together again. Was Cheryl Hines there? Uh, yes, I believe she was there. I love, I like RFK Jr. I like that guy. He's, a, he's formidable is how I would uh, describe him. And I'm now at the point where I'm done with all the 10 cent heads. You have to, you have to have, I don't, I don't, I'm even not as interested in your opinions and stances as, as I am on your ability to think, which is leaving our government. Well, look to, to my dad's point, uh, this guy is an opponent of the military industry. He doesn't like foreign intervention. So my dad likes that about him. He's also been an environmentalist and he's against the systemic erosion of the middle class. So I think we can all agree on those. And things. he thinks that uh, poisons and water cause transgenderism. If they don't? <laughs> no. And, 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 and. No, there, there is a lot of research about plastics and about those like forever chemicals yeah, and yeah. F- sperm plus- count going down and like testosterone going down. And there is there's probably something to that. But I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what his stance is on that. Fox News reporting on a very unusual police chase in Vermont. They finally captured a robbery suspect who authorities say evaded law enforcement over the past week in various modes of flight from cars to bikes to paddle boards to sailboats to tractors. Eric Edson, 52, is expected to be arraigned on more than a dozen charges in relation to an armed robbery in Burlington. Now, what happened was uh, there was the robbery and then they saw the guy he seemed to be passed out in a car he'd stolen they chased him he ended up on a canoe on the lamui river he landed the kayak which is also believed to have been stolen canoe or kayak or both it's hard to find a canoe nowadays canoes have been you know is that right yes yeah i just went uh kayaking last weekend i want to go canoeing i'm a big canoeist I, well, what is uh, the difference between a kayak and a canoe? Well, canoe, the, the kayak is lower to the sea, and I'm not an expert. Uh, it's lower to the water, and you sort of sit in it, whereas a canoe is bigger. It can tip over more yeah. easily, and you have a paddle, which you switch sides. Sorry, I'm, I'm hitting things. Yeah. And the kayak is like this. I think a kayak is more swift. I, I don't think there's a big distinction these days. I was just in a sea kayak uh week and a half ago and uh i i enjoy it but i don't i think i feel like i feel like the canoe has been replaced by the kayak absolutely the kayak is nobody's a, talking about this it's a better version the 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 kayak no. is a better version of a canoe no 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 look look at look what's going on on the left there's storage space in the canoe there's a lot more fun. No, I think the canoe the canoe is for sitting, fishing, and you want a 12-pack in between your legs, whereas the kayak is a little more for exercise and movement and activity. But you can't. I was just on a lake, and there wasn't a canoe to be found. And mm. nobody is talking about this. I, you know the what? The death of the canoe, and this is serious. You know what I think? <laughs> this is real no, shit. I, I'm going to add to this. Yeah. Please. I think the canoe went out with the casserole. There's no uh, casseroles anymore. This was a better country when there were canoes, canoes and, and casseroles. Yeah. And now it's all kayaks and fucking panini bread. Well, I and believe, wraps. and I, I believe, and I'm not even trying to be funny, that I think it's chemicals in the water that have led to the death of the canoe. Interesting. Yeah, I do. I do. There's been a lot of like... Because look RFK at look Junior. at the kayak. Yeah. There's yeah. that's the kayak is low sperm count. Mm-hmm. You got to have a lot of sperm mm-hmm. to get on a canoe like that. 
Yeah. And look at the kayak guy's not even wearing a like a safety vest. <sighs> you know, I will say this. Also, the, the when I grew up, speaking of casseroles, the dessert casseroles, a souffle. And there was a lot of souffle humor. People be making a souffle. Someone mm-hmm. would barge in from outside and slam the door. And they'd go, oh, no, not the souffle. Uh, the souffle is yes. going to drop. Right. Any so, Mad Magazine would have a souffle drop. There was, oh, sitcoms. Sitcoms. They'd come home. Alice would be making it on Brady Bunch. And Bobby and Peter would get into an argument and slam his books down. And she'd yell, not the souffle. <laughs> and she'd run. She'd have to go see if the souffle fell. There's souffle humor. There was a lot of canoe humor, too. Really? A lot of people trying to stand up on the yeah. canoe, falling into the lake, stepping off the dock into the canoe, putting both feet on both edges well, of the, the canoe and rocking. There's no canoe humor. You also had to, like, like when you're on a kayak with somebody else, you can fight the whole time because there's nothing the other person can do. Mm-hmm. You, If you're on a date and you're canoeing, you do not get into a fight with the other person because they can tip it over very easily. Right. They can threaten to stand up. They can do this sort of stuff. And that's part of the fun of the canoe. I didn't feel a sense of danger with the kayak. There was, maybe, maybe I'm just I more just, masculine than, than you know you and some other people. I'm but just I'm saying canoeist. there was a simpler time when there was a canoe in the garage and a casserole in the yeah. oven that would be followed by a souffle. And it was just a simpler, better time Is in America. Is a kayak just a woke canoe? Yeah. I think that's okay. what it is. I, I don't think the guy on the kayak in the picture looks well. They showed so woke. two weird pictures because they're both fishing, but I never see anyone fish in a kayak. I always see them paddling, like out looking for sea turtles. I like a good old metal deliverance canoe. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You got your gun in there. Where's the gun go in the kayak? No, up your They're ass. You're dueling banjos. Right. Right. Yeah, right. you've got camping gear that goes in a canoe. <laughs> Canoes for the real outdoors. I'm with you. Yeah, thank All you. Right. A, we agree. A serious story uh, that's been making a lot of news today. Bijou Phillips Masterson has filed for divorce from husband Danny Masterson over a week after he was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for raping two women. Wait, Phil- she's. <sighs> God damn everyone. She's married. Bijou, Bijou is married to Danny Masterson. She was. was. Okay. Yeah, still can, is. Okay. Can still I is. can I say this? Yeah. Uh, four days ago, somebody's like somebody said to me, "Yeah, you know he's uh, he's married to Busy Phillips," and I go, "He's married to Busy Phillips?" Yeah. I go, I I never heard that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like when people who are wrong put the O in front of yeah. Yeah. And I go. I've seen Busy Phillips like do stuff. I I, I did her show and uh, Dawson's Creek and stuff. I I've seen him do videos and stuff. Like he's married to Busy Phillips. Absolutely. I'm like, uh, wow. I just figured I would have heard about that. No, nope. well they they're married to Busy Phillips. And then I'm like, oh. And I remember just like sitting and thinking and sitting and thinking like, she comes from money. I, she doesn't seem like she would be that type. I don't know why she's with him. And then I like I started thinking, well, and I was like, is she going to stand by his side? Oh, yeah, she's busy. going to be there. It's well, Bijou. It's Bijou. And, and why, Teresa, right. you're a woman. Maybe you can help me understand this. Well, why would she file the divorce after the conviction? Had she not seen enough evidence through the trial? Like, And, you know, this was a second trial. Yeah. So she wept when the guilty verdicts were read on May 31st, and she showed similar emotion at times during his September 7th sentencing hearing when a judge handed down the maximum sentence allowed by law to the 47-year-old actor. Masterson will be eligible for parole after serving 25 and a half years, but he could be held for life. Of course, Masterson is maintaining his innocence, and his attorneys have said they plan to appeal contending that there were problems with evidence and constitutional issues with his conviction. I'd like to know, and Adam, this would be something that you and I would indulge in if we had more time. Mm -hmm. I think we could come up with a scale for how safe somebody like this is in prison, because he, to me, looks like fresh meat. So Mm -hmm. he's probably a 9 out of 10. He was on a show. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be... I think he's going to be, you know, bitched up pretty fast. Whereas if you took like a uh, Harvey Weinstein, Mm -hmm. that guy's safe, right? I, I, I feel like he's sexually safe because he's so sort of uh, unattractive. Yeah. But on the other hand, high profile, 
Hollywood rapist. I, I feel like they would just give him a, one of those soap beatings, mm. but maybe not the raping. Maybe yeah. n- maybe minus the sexual part. Yeah. Well, Bijou has actually communicated that she's concerned for his safety in prison. I'm concerned so. for the women he raped. Thank you. Well, one of them was his yes. girlfriend, right? Of years. So, so two, two. Um, he was found guilty of two of the three counts of rape uh, after seven days of deliberation. Both the attacks took place in Masterson's Hollywood area home in 2003, when he was at the height of his fame on the Fox sitcom That 70s Show. The jury couldn't reach a unanimous verdict on the third count, an allegation that Masterson also raped a longtime girlfriend. Oh, that was the one they couldn't. Right. All right. So those are legitimate versus that one. Because the, the rape of the longtime girlfriend that you continue being a girlfriend with, that that one's a little dubious to me. That Orny. one needs Orny. to be. I'm handing it to that you, one Orny. needs to be discussed Orny. a, a Come little. On. No means no. You got this. No, no, no. Per, let me, this, let me explain this for Adam. For most people, no means no. It's the fifth no. That yeah. matters for Adam. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like that's, that. that's when it becomes right. That's right. Uh, I get to double digits. So that's this, what I'm thinking. So she says no nine times. The, you, you're still moving forward oh. with the act. Oh, it's come the, on. It's the 10th. It's that tenth. that Then it becomes legally raped. Double digits is where I slow my roll. This would explain really much of the argument we just had about the Spanish soccer dude. Who you'd like locked in the same prison no, We never got to conclude guy. that. Because oh, you yes, knew you I would. was right. You, you knew I was right. right. I said to you, we're going to segregate the discussion between the act versus the this punishment. This guy is not, that soccer coach is not only out of a job, but he's been so tarred and feathered that I don't know he can get on another team. Oh, he'll come back. You do? Think yeah, so? I do. Okay. Howard Stern has said his friendship with Bill Maher is over oh. after the HBO Real Time host made a comment about the radio jocks, shock jocks habit of gushing about his wife on air. I'm quoting Bill Maher here. Uh, he goes on about how much he loves his wife, Beth, which he's been doing on the air for like 10 years. He said this on the Monday episode of his Club Random podcast, during which he interviewed Julian Lennon. He went on to say, but we know Howard had this other wife before Beth alluding to Allison Burns. The two got divorced in 2001. Bill Maher, 67, has never been married. All of this as reported by the New York Post. That doesn't seem that harsh. I think Howard's skin's getting a little thinner as he gets a little older. Have you been on his show in a while? You were great on that show. No, I'm no longer welcome on that show. What? Because I was right about everything COVID. Oh, So okay. it's important that I be punished for being correct for being about right. everything COVID. COVID. Were you he, wrong about anything? Not COVID. No, really? Related. Nothing. No. Wow. Well, you can bring it up. Do you go I on mean, Bill Maher's show? Yes. I have I've been on Bill Maher's both How's his he? shows. How's he? In what way? Like personally. Is, Bill like, is, would you want to have a beer with him? Bill is not a knock around kind of guy. Like and and a lot of comedians aren't knock around kind of Joe six pack guys. Like I, I like the blue collar types to watch the game with right. and crack the beer. Like I, I love sort of, I like a, a higher intellect, but guys who like hanging, hanging out. And th- there are definitely some of those dudes out there. He's not like a knock around kind of guy, but he's very interested, super smart, very inquisitive. And like, there's always treated me right it's come on this show i've come on his show i've done his tv show um many times but he's not a bro you mm-hmm. know he's not a dude and he doesn't want to be and he doesn't claim to be he he says i live this life it is not heading down to hooters with you shit kickers and knocking a few back i got my own thing going on but uh in general i like him and i find his honesty refreshing and I'm now at the point where I no longer need to agree with people. I just need to think that they're honest. And then we're and then we're done. All right. Do, sorry. Where were we? Do we have time for one more story? Yeah, one because more. Because I quick. just love this. Jason Bateman had a meltdown. This is from Entertainment Weekly. Not even celebrities are safe from the horrors of technical difficulties. And Adam, I'm sure this has happened to you. Uh, it's happened to everybody. You're trying to log on to Zoom. Something goes wrong. On the latest episode of his Smartless podcast, the Ozark 
actor, recalled the recording session that made him spiral into madness. The two-year-old incident forced Bateman and his co-hosts Will Arnett and Sean Hayes to scrap an episode entirely. The worst part being that Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey was listening the whole time. And I have to play you a clip. And if you haven't listened to this podcast, the conceit is that one of them books a very special guest and it's a surprise Mm -hmm. to the other co-hosts. So when Bateman is having technical difficulties, he doesn't know who's on the line. Take a listen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, can, hello you hear us? can you hear us? It's not, I don't see, I don't see it here in the sound thing. So let's cancel. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's reschedule this thing. Um, I'm in a total fucking tailspin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, buddy. buddy. Great. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Who is that? <laughs> Great, that's helpful. <laughs> Is that our guest? Is that our guest? guest? (laughs) (laughs) But who's doing the laughing? Uh, Let me tell you what I've heard here over the last 30 minutes. Oh, that's McConaughey. Oh, my God. My daughter's iPad got cloned, and then it got... It got uh, wiped right before the dog peed on. So I got to reboot one more time. Wait a minute, it's buffering. Wait, let me reinstall. No, I'm installing. It's going to restart. We got a failure. I need a security check. Oh, shit, we got a virus. Let me reschedule this whole show one more time. Shit, you know what? You guys start without me. Fuck that. Everyone be patient. Oh, shit. What are we going to do? I'm going to tell the fucking tale. Dude, oh. We're good. We're good. Shit, Matthew, man. We're so That is fantastic. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that's entertaining. Kind of reminded me laughing at you. That's why I played it. That's perfect. See, I brought it full circle. I'm Teresa Strasser, and that's the news. That was the news with Teresa Strasser. Fuck you, CNN.